Hey guys, uh, this is Mario with Florida Flexible. Uh, today we're going to be uh, unpacking the Uninit F1000 DTF tabletop roll printer. Um, we're going to start by getting everything out of the box. So we've gotten the unit out of the box and the main box, the main wooden box has the unit just as you see here, right? It's got the, um, the print head section over here and this unit actually prints from a roll so we'll show you guys the back of the unit real quick here. It's about maybe 50 pounds, 55 pounds. So this is the area where we'll connect the, uh, the roll feeder. Okay, Let me go ahead and put that over here. So most of you are familiar with Uninet. Uh, they're the guys uh, that actually make the white toner printer. Um, so they've been in the industry already for a while, manufacturing white toner laser printers. So that technology is still obviously available, but with DTF, taking over, well, everyone is jumping in. So, I'm gonna go ahead and just separate everything that is here so that we know how to get everything together. And there's a couple more boxes that we have to unpack today. And then we'll go over the process of setting up this unit. Here we have cable to connect, and this is the roll. This is the roll attachment, power cord, more brackets for the roll feeder, more pieces for that. So this is. We're going to keep all this right here. Spare parts and whatnot. So we're going to need that over here, this, so these are the, the attachments for the roller that so goes in the back. So we're going to make that down here, make a little bit of room, we've got a couple more boxes to go through. So over here is box number two and in here you guys are going to find very well packaged right we're going to see everything you need from a moisture meter to cleaning accessories all right we have our cmyk inks and our white These are cleaning solutions for, I guess, each color. Powder. And this will be the film. And this is a 12 inch roll. So you'll be able to print as much to the edge as possible. Probably you'll be able to do maybe 11 and a half, 11 and three quarters. That's what we can do right now with the other model. Um, so moisture meter, as I was saying before. And then we have all of these accessories, including cleaning solutions, the inks, the roll feeder, everything right here that has to do with the printer, including the cable to connect it with it, and some spare parts that we have here, okay? The last item that comes in the shipment, and again, it's not included when you buy this machine, this next item that I'm gonna unbox basically is the heater. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you that. So this 
is basically our heater for the tabletop. This is a, just like this machine, it's a 110 plug. Uh, this is going to be the heater, which has a timer and a temperature controller. Um, it has an extractor installed here so that it could um, get rid of the fumes, obviously. That's going to be generated from the heater in here. Um, in here, we're basically going to do what we call the shake and bake, right? It's, uh, the printer is going to output the film. We're going to go ahead and bring it over here, put the powder, shake it, and then cook it. And then after it's cooked, then we can take the film out and we can press it at that point. So this little setup right here is the Uninet DTF 1000. 12 inch from a row. Um, everything accessory wise included in this kit, plus the heater, you're looking at somewhere around $4,900 for the entire kit that's here. There is an applicator that could also be purchased to shake and apply the powder directly from the roll, but obviously that's going to be a little bit extra. Today we're just focusing on something simple like a starter, something that a person can spend under $5,000 and have the same capability as a larger 12-inch printer.